Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm reviewing chapter 2 of Boruto, which, as I was thinking beforehand in my last video, it's a continuation of the Boruto movie, which is fine. It's fine. I, I just hope that, I honestly hope that we're gonna get actual chapters like moving forward with the Boruto series and like I just feel like the next like probably up to like chapter 8 I think because the Boruto movie was long enough for them to fucking write this much in the storyline probably up to chapter 8 or maybe chapter 6 if they try to cram it all in there we're gonna it's just gonna be them reviewing the fucking Boruto movie which you know it's annoying because I feel like they're just doing this for the release of the Boruto movie. Like, okay, we're reviewing it, and the movie's gonna come out, and everybody go run and buy the movie. Like, you know, if if you love Bor Naruto, you're gonna fucking buy the Boruto movie anyway. Like, come on, that's why we're all sitting here watching, I mean, reading this shit, because we want to see more of the Naruto world. And it just pisses me off that we're getting shit. But I do have to say that I am very happy with Kishimoto's assistant, um... Yuk Yukio, I think, sorry if I butchered his name, but his artwork is getting a lot better from the last chapter to this chapter, I have to say. Like, Sasuke doesn't fucking look horrible anymore. Like, Sasuke's actually starting to look like Sasuke, and that makes me very excited because I don't know if I'll be able to keep reading it if Sasuke looked fucking butt ugly, because sorry if I'm vain with my anime boys, but I am. Like, I fucking love Sasuke, so if Sasuke ain't looking cute, I don't know if I could be keep, keep looking at his face like that. Like, Sasuke, what the fuck happened to you? Like, you need to go on some Slim Quick or some shit, because I don't like how your face is looking right now. He looked like he gained fucking Choji pounds. I'm like, can somebody get him, like, a Slim Quick or some shit? Like, Sasuke, drink this. Like, <laughs> please. <laughs> you know, but, like, I'm not gonna bash the artist. I think that, you know, he did a good job. I think his artwork is getting better. I kind of like the way that he drew Sasuke's um, costume right now. Basically, this chapter was about how Boruto's like, making Sasuke become his mentor. And I'm like, you know what? That's cool. Uh, like, because I watched the movie, obviously, so I know that this happened, but it's like more in-depth about it. Sarada is talking to her dad, like, hey, dad, are you really gonna train him? He's like, yeah. Oh, dad, but he's lazy. I know, but he has potential. Yay! And I'm just like, all right. Okay, let's, you know, get there. And then, you know, it was kind of cool because we see a little bit more of Naruto and Sasuke talking a little bit more and the characters kind of interacting a bit more with each other. But once again, if you guys watched the Boruto movie, it's basically the same thing. But I, I'm still happy with the artwork. I'm not going to knock it. I'm going to keep reading it. If after chapter 10, we're still getting shit, then I might drop it. I might be annoyed and just say, fuck this, because I don't want to keep reading it. You know, and I don't know. I just, I expected more. I think all of us expected more as Naruto fans. But I, I'm, I'm happy with the art style. So there's that. I just, I don't know, like... You can't tease us like that with, like, adult Boruto in Chapter 1 and him fighting and all Konoha being destroyed and shit. And then just give us the fucking whole, like, two chapters. And it's, like, 40-something pages each chapter of the fucking Boruto movie. Like, come on, man. Like, just, let's get our shit together. Like, I didn't even get to, like... When I bought my Comic-Con tickets last year, my whole plan was to meet Kishimoto. And mind you, I didn't get to meet him, which was upsetting. But it was just like, I, me and my boyfriend got a hotel. And we didn't want to wait in line. Because he wasn't even at New York City Comic-Con. He was there on Thursday. And it's like, I usually don't get Thursday tickets because it's hard to get off from work on Thursday. And then have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off too. And that's a whole lot of days to be dedicated to Comic-Con, but he was there for a panel, I missed him, and then he was doing, like, New York City Comic-Con has this weird thing that they do now, and it's like, we're having Comic-Con everywhere, so it's like, it's not just at the Javits Center, you gotta go to fucking bookshops and everything else to, like, experience Comic-Con, it's just like, I'm not doing that, I'm just gonna go to the Javits Center, and that's it, like, usually we get a hotel, we stay at the hotel, and then we walk from there to Comic-Con, and it's 
great. Like, I don't get why we have to spend all our time everywhere else. But anyway, like, I just, I just feel like, you know, after him coming to New York and, you know, debuting this stuff and, like, really ending the story and everything else and then announcing this new story, like, you know, Kishimoto, I knew that you weren't done. You tried to fucking lie to us. You tried to tell us that you were done, but we all knew that you couldn't. You could not get your hands away from Naruto because, in one way or another, Naruto characters are still going to be part of the story, which is, you know, why I'm excited about. And I'm excited that Boruto is a combination of like Naruto and Sasuke. It's like if Naruto and Sasuke had a baby. Here we go. It's Boruto, you know, because I don't really see. Aside from the Byakugan in his eye that we got that glimpse of, I don't really see that much of Hinata's personality in Boruto, aside from, like, his little bit of shyness toward Sarada, but whatever, you know. And I actually like, once again, I like Sarada's character. I feel like Sarada's character is really developing nicely, and I like that she has a nice combination of both her... Um, Sakura and Sasuke in her and I feel like this character is going to really develop well as well because I really want to see the three of them get better as they go along and you know now we're kind of on the arc of them going into the Chuni exam so we'll see and how everything goes and the storyline once again but once again I know how it goes but I just want to see how the artwork progresses because it was better. Maybe he just heard all of our fucking complaints from this first chapter and was like, oh shit, I really gotta step up my game. Everybody looked at this and said it was horrible. I'm like, alright, well, you know what, man? Good. We need you to draw like you never drawed before. Anyway, guys, um, have a good one. You can follow me here on OMG at Spidey and Instagram and all that good stuff. I'll post it down below. And I'll keep posting about Boruto and about other animes and mangas and stuff. I'm actually kind of, I'm getting into the My Hero Arcania um, anime. I just started watching. It's really cute and really good. I'm going to see if I start reading the manga too to get current so I could start reviewing those chapters as well. Alright guys, have a good night or day. It's night now because I'm in New York and I'm filming at night. Alright, bye.